hello guys welcome to the online attitudes.com my name is asif ali in this video i'm going to show you how we can update the record in sql server so i have made the simple form and uh, uh, i have already uh, shared the project how you can insert the record and display the record in grid view in this video i'm going to show you how we can update the record so I close the project and this is a very simple process to insert the record in grid view uh, sorry in database and I have made the method to display the data in grid view and here is a simple connection to connect the SQL server and C sharp and this is a SQL command to run the uh, queries or uh, to insert the record and also I have used data adapter to display the data in grid view in this video we will talk about the update record in database so first step you need to make the connection and uh, create the object of a SQL command and then you need to uh, open the project uh, click on the grid view go to properties and uh, click to event portion and click cell content click to generate the event double click on it and then the next step you need to call the id get the first integer id to get the record so I initial the variable our name ID or change the name as you like for example um, record underscore ID so I call this record copy this variable paste here and convert call convert dot to int basically this portion we are get the records grid view to text boxes then we are using the update records so first step you need to get the record grid view in text boxes so here is a simple uh, process to get the uh, grid view record in text boxes so I have initialize the variable integer record id name and i call record name id here to get the first column uh, uh, record to assign on this variable right so i call data grid view this is my grid view name and dot rows rows and uh, call the e e means this object this object dot row index and out of the uh, brackets call dot cells cell number is default zero the value dot to string okay and then the next step you need to uh, call the first text box name and this text box name is I go to my property portion txt name I call txt name dot text and assign the data grid view dot rows and e dot row index dot cell and this uh, row or cell number one because this is a zero zero means id second column name is uh, name this is a number of one and then value dot two string 
and then second uh, text box name is email this text box name is txt email so I call txt email copy it and then paste here dot text and use again this portion dot rows e dot row index dot cells and enter the number 2 value dot to string and finally we are call the uh, third text box name third text box name txt mobile number dot text and assign the data grid view rows e dot row index dot cell uh, cell number is three dot value dot two string right and then save the file and uh, run the project and then check the system or project is working or not that's working as well it means so here you can see it I uh, select any one name and then the record has changed on text boxes so that's great the next step you need to insert the button to update the record I select the button and drag and drop and change the button name btn update and then uh, I change the button text update double click on update button to generate the event then we are using SQL command prompt so I have already initialized this SQL command object I use this object to run the query or command so I call CMD sorry first step you need to call connection con dot open because I have already made the connection uh, here is a connection so you can create connection and then call the connection on here and then next step you need to call cmd cmd means uh, sql command object and uh, call again sql command and enter the query query is update my table name is record so copy the record table name and paste here update record and then set enter the column name my column name is first column name is name so I call name and assign and enter the assign sign and single commas double commas and plus sign and enter the first text box name my text box name is txt name copy it and paste here dot txt enter the extension or uh, type of this text box and after the single parenthesis uh, commas you need to write a comma and then uh, use the second column name my second column name is go to my secret server email my second column name is email and assign single commas double commas double plus sign txt email my second column name is txt email text box column uh, sorry my text box name is txt email and then finally uh, I enter the comma and uh, third column name is mobile mobile assign the single commas double commas plus plus sign and txt mobile dot text after the using third column name you need to write the where keyword and uh, you are table ID my table ID name is ID where 
आई डी व आई डी आई डी यू कॉल दिस वेरिएबल टू असाइन है बिकॉज दिस वेरिएबल हैज गेट टू आई डी सो आई यूज दिस वेरिएबल ऑन है सो आई यूज व आई डी सिंगल कॉमर्स डबल कॉम प्लस साइन सॉरी डबल कॉमर्स एंड प्लस साइन एंड असाइन दिस वेरिएबल कॉपी दिस वेरिएबल एंड पेस्ट है राइट एंड फाइनली यू नीड टू राइट कॉम एंड कॉल कनेक्शन राइट and then the next step you need to call cmd dot execute not query and parenthesis and uh, call message box dot show record has been successfully updated and con close let's check it run the project i enter the name ali i think uh, i get the mistake cmd execute no query why i cut the and use package because uh, the exception has ex ex dot message let's check again incorrect syntax in your one uh, I think uh, I check the uh, ID uh, column name txt name and update record set name txt name and uh, comma email txt ml and then mobile and txt mobile where where ID this is my record ID name record dot ID and then that's uh, I think that's fine but execute execute no query Uh, I check the query I think Merrick uh, uh, I get the mistake so where is the mistake for example uh, this is a one column second column third column oh yes here I do not use these equal sign so save the file open the project and then call the and change the text box name and then the record has successfully updated it means that's working uh, well so let's check uh, again I stop the and run the project again and then you can see here the command con has changed so do you want to change the on time so you need to copy the method to display the grid view data copy it and paste here after the closing connection save the file op run the project and uh, call for example OSIF and uh, as if I enter the name Ali and I click update 
uh, the data has updated as well so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in next lecture